Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bag review and a what's in my bag on the tote that I've been currently using for work. And the bag that I'm talking about is the soft leather tote bag from Linya. And I have this in the chestnut color. So Linya very kindly sent me one of their bags to road test and I have to say it has fast become a favorite for me. And I thought I'd share this with you guys because I know that a lot of you are looking for really beautiful high quality tote bags and also ones that are made sustainably and ethically as well. So I thought I'd kind of share with you a little bit about the brand in case you haven't heard of or aren't familiar with Linya and then I'd also kind of talk about the quality, um, how I've been finding it and then also show you guys exactly what I can fit into this bag. So all of the Linya bags are designed in Scandinavia and then they are made in Italy and the whole ethos behind the brand is bringing really beautiful, well designed and designer quality bags but at a really reasonable price point. They also put a really strong emphasis on living more thoughtfully and more sustainably and kind of make sure that they use the best quality leathers that they can get their hands on. All of those things really resonate with me. I think you guys know that I try and make a concerted effort where I can to buy from brands that are producing really high quality things but in an ethical way and also that are trying to reduce their environmental footprint. And Linya definitely does all of that which I absolutely love and the tote bag is such a functional and structural kind of design as you guys can see it is a really sort of soft leather I'm gonna do cutaways as well so you can see how this fits on me and everything like that but the bottom looks like that and then it's got the two straps which are perfect for throwing over your arm and then inside and it's got a magnetic closure here Inside the bag is fabric lined and there is a little pocket here which I used to put my wallet and my cell phone in. So in terms of the quality, it is incredibly beautiful quality. The leather that they use for the bag is vegetable tan leather which only 10% or so of leather in the world is produced using that particular process. And what it does mean is that the bag will kind of patina over time. It also means that there is less of an environmental impact because it isn't using chemicals. So it takes about 40 days, I believe, for the whole kind of vegetable tanning process to be complete. So over time the bag will darken or get a lot darker than it is. I got this in the chestnut color and actually it looks a lot lighter on the website but I love it. I think it's a really beautiful rich deep kind of mahogany shade and definitely one of those ones that I think is perfect for every day and kind of goes with every single outfit and I love the fact that it is lined on the inside so as you guys know I had a bag from Kuyana and it is raw leather interior and I had issues with that actually transferring on to items that I have in the bag and you kind of you know aren't going to have that problem when you've got fabric lining like this and I do love the fact that it's got the little pocket as well and this has been great because I can fit my lunch in here. We can have to make lunch to take into work because obviously it saves you money and you can really control what it is that you're eating and what you're putting into your body. And it fits in here perfectly at the bottom. I can also pop my laptop in here. I have two diaries that I take to work. I've got a little catch-all. I, I am going to show you guys, but it fits everything that I need in here and then some. So it's been really practical and perfect for my daily commute to and from work. And the straps are really comfortable. They don't fall off my arm. Actually, the way that I wear it, they sort of cross over slightly. So I wear it so they crossed over slightly like that and that really just reduces any chance of it falling off my arm but I haven't had that issue at all. And the leather itself has worn really well. I do have one teeny weeny little scratch here which I actually think might be because Winston, my kitten, who if you guys haven't seen my blog I will link a post to him down below but we recently got a ragdoll kitten and um, he has a habit of trying to attack everything in our house so um, I think he got to my bag sadly but aside from that it looks absolutely perfect the leather obviously is going to soften and I think it will lose a little bit of its structure over time but at the moment it does stand up really well on its own and I feel like this is just a really beautiful um, simple and classic tote bag to have for work um, and I think that particularly if you work in kind of a more corporate industry it's great to have something that does have a bit of structure like this so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly what fits in this bag and what I typically tend to take to work on a daily basis. 
So as you guys are going to see, this bag is super roomy. It fits absolutely everything that I need for my typical day-to-day -day life. So quite often I will take my MacBook with me. This is a MacBook Pro 13 inch and that just fits really comfortably inside the bag. Then, what would be a day on the train without some reading? I'm currently reading Elle magazine, which I've been enjoying. Then I have two notebooks here. One is the one that I use to plan my blog and my YouTube channel, and the other one is just my day-to-day -day diary. And those are from Daily Edited and My Goals. Then this here is my catch-all, and I sort of feel like everybody needs one of these in their bags. So in the back I have sort of things like Panadol and plasters, that kind of thing. And then in the front, that's where I keep all of my makeup essentials that I kind of feel like I need for the day, like any lipsticks, that sort of thing. And this one's from Mark by Mark Jacobs, and I like that it's got the two different pouches. Then next up is a sweater, and we're kind of going into that really funny transitional period where it's starting to get really cool, but it's still kind of warm. So I love that I've got space in there, otherwise I can also pop my lunchbox in the bottom and I can still fit a sweater in too. And those are my pass and my business cards for work, definitely to make sure I have those in me. I carry two card cases with me daily. These are both from Charlotte Olympia and they fit really nicely into that little pocket on the side of the bag. And I also have a little key holder from Louis Vuitton in the dummy at a bin. And this one's got the rose ballerine lining and that fits quite nicely into the center of the bag. And then I always carry a pen with me because I'm usually jotting down ideas or something. And of course I have my iPhone and headphones which I pop the iPhone in that little pocket as I find it's really easy and convenient to reach and then the headphones just sit in the middle of the bag. And despite it being full, you can see I've still got a little bit of space in there. So that is everything that fits inside this bag. As you can see, it's really roomy and obviously fits all of my daily necessities. And I do love the fact that there is a bit of extra room in there in case I want to bring a jumper to work, you know, if the aircon gets a little bit too cold or something like that. The other thing I thought I would just quickly mention is that if the bag is super full, the magnetic closure that you've got at the top here won't shut. Personally, I've got no problem with that, but if you do, I thought I'd just kind of throw that out there just in case. So once she's just popped in quickly to say hello, such a cutie. This bag has just been absolutely perfect for my daily commute. So, so pleased to have it and definitely something that I'm going to be wearing a lot more in the future as well. And I'm also kind of looking at potentially getting a black version too, just as I think it's such a classic style. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you later. Bye.